thank you for taking some time to visit this GoFundMe page. Um, I wanted to give you a little background just from my own words about uh, this project. And, um, you know, earlier this year I had the opportunity to, to go to Haiti with Heartline Ministries and had the opportunity to go there because my wife and I were uh, contemplating uh, possibly adopting from the country. And so we wanted to get an idea of the, the people, the culture, um, just the community. And it uh, turns out that we ended up adopting domestically. However, uh, the mother was due around the same time that our trip to Haiti uh, was coming. So we made the decision to stay back. My wife would stay back and I would go um, to Haiti. And while I was in Haiti, I had the privilege of meeting Moise, who is uh, leading the discipleship ministry for Heartline Ministries and really working with the men to mentor them disciple them in the word and uh, helping them have a deeper relationship with Jesus and that way they can impact their community and be more influential amongst their people. Uh, and while I was there, I really struck a chord with Moise just hearing about his struggles, some of the challenges that they face every day. And, um, you know, I, I really felt it on my heart to try and do something for him, for them, that they would be able to expand the ministry and make more of an impact for the kingdom. And so I had this idea to try and raise money for him to get a motorcycle because he shared with me his challenge of getting around and the struggle that it was and the complication that arises from having to take one tap tap to another tap tap to another tap tap um, and the cost that is associated with uh, making that trip every single day. So without further ado, I want to introduce you to Moise, the men's discipleship leader. Hello, I'm Moise. I'm a Bible teacher. I lead the men's program, the discipleship program. Thank you for helping me get a motorcycle in Haiti. This is what the top top is. So you see the lineup? Yes. I need to take three of those or four of those to get work every day. That's how I do it. But when it's when we have traffic, it's complicated. Welcome to Haiti. This is actually footage I shot on the way from Heartline Ministries guest house to the OK Corral where Moise does the men's discipleship program and as you can see it's pretty much a free-for-all in the streets um, there really aren't there are no street lines and check out this car on the left right here I mean it, it really is uh, it's crazy out there and so uh, the the reason for the urgency around getting a motorcycle is that it will give Moe some freedom uh, in having uh, the ability to pick and choose when he can go to and from his ministry sites and he told me it can take anywhere up to four hours for him to get uh, from the Hoke Corral to home to another ministry site and so you know I really want to stress the fact that you know these tap taps can only go certain distances and he has to take multiple tap taps to get to where he needs to go so I know a motorcycle doesn't sound like much but it's really gonna help his family it's gonna help his ability to pray for people in the country uh, for the ability to, to be there on time for the men's discipleship program, for his prison ministry, and really for all the other work that Moise is doing in Haiti. I, I compel you to really consider partnering with, with Moise and I for the purpose of getting him this motorcycle uh, to help more students graduate from this program. It really is an amazing opportunity for us to partner. And this is actually the motorcycle Moise hopes to get. and. Uh, with your prayer and support, get this program fully funded. So please join us, whether it's $1, $5, $100 or more, whatever's on your heart, please help us get Moise a motorcycle. God bless you, and to him be the glory.